In this video, I'll be ranking every Minecraft in-game event in a tier list. That's right, I'll be ranking the absolute worst and the best Minecraft events and even a special event a lot of you probably won't expect all in this video. And now, the tier list. If you don't know, the way this tier list works is that there's five tiers. Best, good, average, faulty, and bad. And I'll be putting each Minecraft event in one of these tiers. And now let's rank our first event. First up, Skeleton Horse Traps, or just Skeleton Traps are an event that is extremely rare. So a Skeleton Trap has happens when it's thundering out. And while it's thundering and lightning strikes, there's a small chance a skeleton horse will spawn from that lightning. But that's only the first part. Once the skeleton horse does spawn, it will disappear within 15 minutes. Unless you walk within 10 blocks of the skeleton horse. If you do that, then lightning will strike and the skeleton horse will divide into four horses with skeletons riding it. And I guess that's why it's called skeleton horse trap. Like I said in my Minecraft mob tier list, I think the skeleton horse mob itself was pretty average and because it's so rare, it's just not a great mob. But this isn't a mob tier list, it's an event tier list, and I think this event is exciting because it's so unique, but it also doesn't have a lot of depth to it. So just like the mob, it's an average tier. Now, pillager patrols. So patrols are what you would expect, a group of devious pillagers out to pillage, plunder, and talk to me about my car's extended warranty. They'll only spawn after your world has reached at least five days of in-game time. They don't have to be near a pillager outpost to spawn, in fact, they could spawn spawn in any biome, except for mushroom fields rightfully. Patrols usually start as all pillagers, but different illagers could also join in on the patrol if they get near it. Which kinda makes me wonder if it could ever stop, I mean, can there just be a 100 pillager patrol? Who knows. But I gotta be honest, patrols just aren't that special, but they can spice up your game and add a little unexpected chaos here and there. Average tier. Now, <sighs> Wandering Traders. So the Wandering Trader event is when a villager with two llamas will spawn near you and offer you ridiculous trades and then just annoy you while it goes invisible. I have two words to describe the Wandering Trader event. Two leads. That's it. It's a good concept, but just has terrible trades and always shows up when you need it the least. The Wandering Trader event is a bad tier. Zombie Sieges. Now, I didn't know Zombie Sieges existed until recently, and that's actually because they didn't. And no, they weren't added recently either. Zombie Sieges were added on Java Edition back in 2012 in the 1.2.1 update, but were removed in 1.4.7 because of a bug. And they were gone all that time until 1.14.3. So Zombie Sieges Sieges aren't new, but they are to me and to a lot of other people. But as for zombie sieges themselves, zombie sieges are an event that happens only at midnight and has a 10% chance of happening every midnight. It only happens in a village and when it does happen, a huge group of zombies will spawn in a village and start attacking villagers, players, and everything else zombies would normally attack. As far as I know, this can happen even if the village is walled off and has lights in it, which can actually make zombie sieges pretty dangerous. You don't get any rewards if you defeat all the zombies zombies in a siege, but I think it's still a cool thing to witness, and they're not too common, so they don't get annoying. Zombie sieges are a good tier. Now, weather. You probably weren't expecting this one, but hear me out. Weather is an event. I mean, it happens randomly. It can influence the way you play the game. It can burn down your house. Weather changes depending on what biome you're in. Oak forest? Rains. No way tundra? Snow. Desert? nothing. Weather usually doesn't get in the way unless lightning strikes something you've been working on for years or yourself, but that's pretty rare. Here's something about weather I never really liked though. Weather is infinite. When it's raining or snowing at spawn, it's raining or snowing in the far lands. I wish weather could just be a small area like in real life, and it can even slowly move across the world, but maybe I'm being too demanding with a feature 90% of people probably don't think about. But I think weather adds a lot of character to Minecraft, even if we don't pay that much attention to it. Weather is a good tier. Piglin hunting. So piglin hunting is an event that happens between piglins and hoglins. If a piglin is around a hoglin, there is a random chance the piglin will start attacking the hoglin. And if there are too many hoglins, the piglin will just run away. Also, if one piglin attacks a hoglin, all the piglins in the area will join in on the action, including piglin brutes. This event doesn't involve the player directly, but it will still involve you and your eyes if you choose to watch it. And if you do choose to watch this event, there is a dance the piglins will do sometimes after they defeat 
defeat the Hoglin. This event is just a cool little thing that adds life to the nether, but I also think it's the least eventish event on this list. The Piglin Hunt event is a faulty tier. Now the one you've all been waiting for, probably. Raids. So raids are a true event in Minecraft. I mean, they were a staple feature of a whole update. But are raids actually any good though? Well, you start a raid by entering a village with the bad omen effect, and once the raid starts and you hear that horn, you're in for the fight of a lifetime. I'm talking waves of villagers coming at you trying to eliminate you and all the other villagers. Now, depending on the difficulty you're on, you'll get more waves. On easy, there's only three waves. On medium, there's five waves. And on hard, there's seven waves. And unlike the pillager patrol event, the raid event contains all different types of villagers, like ravagers, evokers, vindicators, and more. It gets intense, but once you clear all the waves and win the raid, the entire village will celebrate you and you'll get the hero of the village effect, which will give you discounted villager trades, but of course not discounted wandering trader trades, because of course it wouldn't. Now let's say the illagers eliminate all the villagers and actually win the raid, well then they'll start jumping up and down and start celebrating, which is a cool little addition. There is one big problem with raids, which is that to get the next wave to start, you have to eliminate all the illagers from that current wave. So if a pillager wants to play hide and seek, but he's the one hiding and he's actually the world's best hider, well, then you're gonna have to be searching for him for a while. And this happens quite a lot to be honest, but other than that, raids are an event that are just all around great. Raids are a best tier. And now the special event. This event happens unfortunately a lot, it happens even if you don't want it to. And that event of course is your game crashing. That's right, Minecraft crashing is probably the worst event you could possibly get, and we could all agree that it's a bad tier. And just like your game being forced to close when it crashes, I was forced to make this video. 